Good morning, Salem Church. Um, welcome to our uh, morning meeting, our announcements. Uh, we look forward to worshiping together with you later and, and hearing from the Word. Um, yeah. We are thankful this week as the guidelines um, for the whole COVID protocol has opened up a little bit more and we've been granted permission to meet together as a church. We still need to be respectful of our guidelines from, the, from our government. Um, so in doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to pre-register online or we're going to contact the church office on Tuesday morning um, to be able to register for who's available to go so that we don't overload our system um, and make sure we have uh, what we need so that we can do that in an orderly fashion. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can re um, reference the email that was sent out from the church office earlier this week. And then there's also going to be a live streaming option available for those who just can't either you know hit fit in that 150 or who don't feel that uh, they want to be here at this time. But we are looking forward to seeing everybody. I know I am. I'm. Yeah, it's going to be good. I know I've said this before, but again, even this week, I saw some people I haven't seen from the beginning, and uh, of all of this, and just in talking to them a little bit more and finding out about how their, I don't know, do we call it a COVID time, how that's been going and realizing that, boy, we need that interconnectedness. It's been good whenever I've been able to talk to people like Mike or, or anybody out there just to encourage each other in this time. So I look forward to next week mm -hmm. uh, and I hope that you guys do as well. And like Mike said, get, get registered so we can figure out how many we can get in there. Absolutely. Uh, this week, uh, again, we're going to have Chuck Cheddar, who is going to be sharing from Daniel again, and I've enjoyed those sermons. I know that uh, I kind of we teach my children from Daniel, and then we send them off because he uh, they're a little bit longer, and and it's tough to hold them down some days. Hey? Yeah, we find the same, and and the kids actually are really appreciating it. Uh, I know Elias is asking questions and referencing it, and, and the other boys are catching on too, so it's been really good. Yeah, no, it's, it's been good. I've enjoyed it. Um, this week, one other exciting, if you haven't heard, I can't believe that anybody hasn't heard, but we do have uh, James Vanderveen has accepted the senior pastor role, uh, or the lead pastor role here at Salem, and will be starting uh, late August, so that's exciting. We need to be, continue to be in prayer for them. I know that they've got a lot of plans to make and uh, also realizing that they're going to be breaking those ties with their church family. Mm -hmm. And I think after this last week with the funeral, with talking with Daryl, talking with people I haven't talked to, realizing church family is so important. And so uh, encourage you to be in prayer for James and his family. Again, if you haven't uh, talked to somebody this week, um, just to encourage them in their walk with the Lord and in their uh, connectedness with people, please reach out and do that. Mm -hmm. um, like Harvey said a couple weeks ago, take two people that you haven't talked to during this time and give them a phone call. Uh, you'll be blessed and they'll be blessed. Indeed. Uh, Russ Willems is our elder on call and I know that he would welcome you to call if you have any questions, concerns, comments, or just need somebody to pray with you. Um, all of our elders are willing and, and would just love to be praying with those who are in need and who just needs an extra support of prayer or encouragement and yeah it blesses us too so please contact any of us but uh, Russ is on call this week or this month and uh, thank you Rob for your midweek devotional I think that if I'm gonna take up golf again I'm gonna call you because I might have a chance then um, and I look forward to Luke. Luke is going to bring us a midweek devotional. Luke Siebert, uh, one of our um, men in blue at, for the city of Saskatoon. And he's going to bring us a midweek devotional this week. He's more than just a man in blue. He's also a, a great brother in Christ and Indeed. pretty good guitar player. So he tells me. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to see him up there doing worship with, uh, with the group. And yeah. I really appreciate you, Luke, and thank you for all who serve in our church. Um, those volunteers are needed. It's a lot of extra work, but um, we couldn't do it without you. We can't run church without the, the church. We need the body. Yeah, and 
I would really be amiss if I did not. So this is hopefully, I thought last week was our last week, but this is hopefully our last week with this distance uh, morning time. And I need to say a great big thank you to Jared Seaboyer. Yes. And I know he wouldn't want it. He's the guy who sits at the back doing all the sound, making everything work. And he has been such a help in this time with all our audiovisual stuff, our internet stuff. Yeah. And I am just, I want to say thank you to him and I want to w encourage it. Everyone who has enjoyed this getting together or just enjoyed or, or any, any of the singing that's been online or anything, mm -hmm. encourage that young man. He has done a fabulous job, stuff that I could not do and his willingness to just, I would ask him, can we do this? He's like, I got it, I got it. Mm -hmm. You know, sorry, Jared, it's last minute, or we had a change of plan. Somebody else is coming in at a different time. Yep, I'm there. And he's been, uh, that to me, he has just shown the heart of what it means to be the church rather than to just be in the church. And so it was an encouragement to me, and I hope that this can encourage all of you to be the church, to be part. How are you this week going to be the church? Are you going to encourage somebody? Are you going to help? Are you going to volunteer? Are you going to ask, how can I help? Um, yeah, be the church. Uh, don't just be in the church, but be the church. And we'll do this together. And that to me is exciting. I'm looking forward to us getting back together and all being the church. Because mm -hmm. it does take all of us. Um, Look forward to coming events here. Father's Day. Oh, Father's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all those who are fathers out there uh, or grandfathers. And that's a big time. Uh, we often, Mike and I were just talking about how our society is trying to tear down men and trying to uh, strip away what is good about being a male and what God has decided was their role to do. And so... Many men have kind of walked away from that. And we want to encourage all of you as men out there to, to uh, be in the Word, see what God has for your life, where He wants you to step up, and where He wants you to, to, uh, yeah, to just be that man that He wants you to be. Whether it's putting your arm around your children and your wife, whether it's being a leader in the community, in your home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it is a special role. Yeah. Big shoes to fill. Uh, we've got a big task, but it's encouraging, and we want to encourage you this day. Um, I do have a reading from Proverbs. It's just a quick little reading. Proverbs 4, verses 10 to 13. Listen, my son, accept what I say, and the years of your life will be many. I guide you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. You know, that reminds me, my son one day, he, my oldest, he said to me, Dad, it must be hard being a, a dad, a parent. I said, well, it's not always easy, but it's good. Yeah. And he, I said, why do you say that? He said, well, we're all different, meaning him and his brothers. I said, yes, you are. And we don't come with books, and even if we did, we'd need a different instruction manual for each one of us. And I thought that was pretty wise of him to say. Indeed. But we don't have a, I don't have an instruction manual for each of my sons, but I do have an instruction manual that God has given me on how to be a good father, a good husband, a good person, and a good uh, son to, to my Lord Jesus. And it's all right here. And I am so thankful. Any day that I get... Uh, where I can just get nuggets from, from the Word that teach me how to be a good father and to encourage me. That is exciting. So I am thankful for that as a father, that I have the Word of God to lead me and guide me. And sure. as Mike is also a father of many young boys, I'm sure that he would agree that I don't know what I'd do without it. I have no idea. <laughs> I'd, I'd be lost. Like I'm already at a point where sometimes... You're looking for that piece of wisdom, praying, saying, God, please help me, because I've got nothing. And yeah, in a lot of ways, that's a good place to be, because uh, mm -hmm. then we're depending on our Father. And, you know, sometimes that's pretty daunting. But, you know, so far, so good. He's 
allowed us to see those little nuggets through the Bible, through life, um, and through our kids, like as they come up and say, hey, like you did a good job on this, or hey, you blew it here. <laughs> um, we've got it both. Yeah. But we're going to take some time today to celebrate dads and uh, have some treats at the church here. So I believe it's between 11 and 1230 if you want to stop by. Um, yeah, we can get a little treat for dad and show our appreciation. Yes, and we're actually filming this the day before, and I'm going to complain and whine because I have to work tonight, so I'll be sleeping. I won't get any ice cream. We'll save some for you. Well, you know, I don't really need any. <laughs> That's, isn't, that, isn't that the thing now? Dad bod? I have a dad bod. Okay, yeah, there you go, I, yeah. I could use a little less ice cream. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd encourage you guys all as fathers to take your family and just enjoy uh, time with dad having some ice yeah. cream. Um, yeah, and you know what? Salem is a great place to be a dad. I know when we moved here, there is many men in this church who are wise and humble and yeah, they're, I hope, generous with their advice. Uh, we're, you know, like Mike was just talking about, sometimes we just need to find somebody who has the right answers. And the Word of God is a, a great tool, but there's a lot of wisdom in some of the men in this church. Mm -hmm. And I would encourage the older women, too, to be that resource to the younger women and the older men to be that resource to the younger men because that is... We saw that when we came here, and on, I swear that is one of the biggest reasons we stayed at Salem, mm -hmm. is we saw these older men and women speaking into the lives of the younger men and women. So I would just encourage you to keep that up. That uh, is so cool. Yeah, it, and it, that was... We came because it was the latest start time, but we stayed because that was we saw the family dynamics of the older imparting wisdom into the younger people, mm. and that is why we stayed. So let's keep that up uh, <coughs> as the Bible instructs us, as the body of Christ, um, teaching each other, and as iron sharpens iron, um, so you sharpen one another. Yeah. I guess let's continue on in the announcements. Uh, this coming week, we've got, on Tuesday, a bridal shower for Bryn Willems um, in Cora Redekop's backyard. Ladies, you may all attend um, at 7 p.m. Uh, Wednesday the 24th, the prayer meeting at home. If you have any prayer requests, um, feel free to contact Tim Redekop. Uh, he will make sure to get things uh, emailed out so that you guys know um, what's on the slate for the prayer meeting. And on Friday mornings, uh, prayer meeting in the gathering room for men. Um, for men encouraging men and praying for um, what we need to pray for, for the church and for our nation and our community. Um, so yeah, feel free to meet there on Friday mornings. And then uh, there's the frozen meals uh, on here. Uh, they're still collecting frozen meals for the Wolf family, the hands and feet ministry opportunity. So just contact Lindy Siebert. Her, her phone number is on the, uh, the church newsletter. And yeah, let's continue to be in prayer for that family and and this is one way to be uh, hands and feet to them the hands and feet of Christ and so we can do that in many other ways um, give Barry a call I know if you go and see him you're gonna get a, a hug so be prepared for that I love it yes. but uh, yeah that is just one simple way that we can can uh, help that family out right now speaking of prayer uh, we'd like to go to prayer. We just have a few prayer requests here. And uh, it's good to pray together as a church and to keep each other in mind. And so, yeah, let's just lead out in prayer here. Father, I'm so glad and I'm thankful to you that you have shown us what a father who loves with strength and humility and compassion and sacrifice truly is. And Lord, we want to be a people who honors what you have shown a father to be and Lord I pray for all the men in our church that we would continually uh, humble ourselves come before you seeking you seeking your word and how to how to be a better father and Lord I pray that you would bless us and encourage us in that and help us to be intentional in how we do that and Lord I am thankful for your provision of a pastor I'm Thankful that James and Jamie are, are going to be headed out here in August. And I pray that you would just bless them as they are in transition. As they're trying to figure out what life will look like here in Waltheim and how to get here and, and move all of, that, all of their things and the new baby. And also how to uh, separate 
uh, or, or say goodbye to their church family and the things that they'll be leaving behind. And neither of those is an easy task. And so we pray you be with them. Encourage them. Um, give them wisdom. And just as we've seen in these last couple of weeks, uh, how you just bless your people who call on you. Just bless them. Give them uh, little nuggets so that they can say, Oh, the Lord was with me. And here's how. Uh, just be with them, Lord. Lord, we, pr we pray for Camp Kadesh as they have finally put out their announcement that they will have to close up for summer. They were hoping, um, beyond hope, that they would be able to continue to stay ho stay open for summer, but that is not going to be possible at this time. And Lord, their finances depend on, on that summer registration, and so they are questioning and struggling as to where their finances are going to come from to continue doing ministry. So, Lord, I pray that you would raise up uh, people in the churches and in the communities around that have supported them and who raised money enough to build that, the largest uh, continuous running camp in Saskatchewan. And I pray that you would raise up uh, people to support them financially and prayerfully so that they could continue their ministry. Lord, I pray for Barry and Aiden and Amara. I just got to run into Aiden today and give him a hug and hopefully encourage. And Lord, I pray that you would be the father of encouragement to them, that you would be wrapping your arms around them and that they would know um, your care for them. Lord, may we as a community wrap our arms around them, again, being your hands and your feet to show love and wisdom and encouragement and just, yeah, family in this tough time. Lord, help us to do things uh, compassionately and lovingly and sacrificially just to, to help a family out. Pray that uh, as, this, as we do this, others would know and see that, uh, see your love and say, boy, there's something different about those people at Salem. They sure love on each other. And I've heard that already in this last week. So pray that this would continue. And Father, we just thank you for our church body here. Um, we thank you for the relationships you've created. We thank you that you've brought us together to worship you, uh, to hear from your word. We thank you that we can encourage others and reach out and minister within our community and uh, like Saskatoon and beyond. Um, God, we just pray that our church body here at Salem would be able to impact the world in a way that is none other but from you. Um, God, we just we want to praise you for that, that you designed the church in such a way. And we pray that you would put it on people's hearts to to be able to, to serve in the area of their gifting, as we talked about this week with the midweek devotional. And we pray that you would um, just allow intentional conversations on, you know, where can I serve? What can I do? This is what I enjoy. This is what I'm good at. Um, so yeah, we just pray that you would be with that. Um, we thank you that we are allowed to gather together this coming week. Um, we just pray that this whole COVID thing would um, help us to see things differently and to be thankful for the things that we often took for granted. Um, Father God, we pray that you'd be with our grade 12 grads as they look forward to making plans for next year, um, as they, they may have a direction, they may not, but we pray that you'd grant wisdom in that. Um, and God, it's in some ways, they missed out on their grad ceremony, and we just pray that you'd be with them in that, that you would um, grant them comfort for that. Uh, we pray that they would be able to find unique and creative ways to celebrate and, and just have fun and enjoy that time. And Father, we thank you for the young couples in our church who are preparing for marriage or have been recently married. Um, we think of Tyson and Brooklyn Smith, uh, Kaylee Fair and Miguel, um, Damaris and Carter, um, and Brandon Logan, God. We just, we thank you for um, your design in marriage. And we pray, as we mentioned earlier, that there would be an intergenerational learning and encouraging, um, that they would be able to um, learn from their parents, learn from people in the church on how to have a good marriage. And Father, 
more importantly, help them to take that from scripture and, and learn from you how you designed it. Um, we just thank you so much for that. Or we just uh, want to pray for Deborah Anru as well, as she's serving the Greater Europe, Europe mission in France, just outside of Paris, I believe. And uh, she's got a few things listed about what's going on there, but just that she would be able to transition back to France smoothly uh, that at the end of July. And she's still needing some financial supporters, Lord. I pray that you would bring all that she needs, uh, that uh, in your time, everything would be provided for her to serve faithfully and that she would be able to wait in that time uh, on you and give devote herself uh, to you as she waits uh, sometimes the waiting is the hardest part uh, but we know that all things come together to those who love you and I pray that that would that her plans of getting back to France would be uh, as difficult as it is that she would be able to wait on you and I pray that uh, she'll be able to reconnect once she's there, that she would uh, be able to just jump both feet into ministry and uh, be able to serve you in France. And that we would be able to continue to pray and support her. Lord, put that on our hearts. Uh, we thank you for all the missionaries who have gone out from our church and that we have had a chance to, to uh, share in that. And Lord, we pray that you would continue to build missions hearts in, in our community, and in Salem, that we would have people who would continue to go, but that we would also be willing to uh, maybe be a little bit uncomfortable in the seat we're in and be moved to uh, get out of our seat this week and tell somebody about the good news, that we have this instruction book that tells us how to be a good dad, that tells us how to have a good marriage, that tells us who is the creator of all and that we have a, get to have a relationship with you and because of that we can love others yeah lord i just pray that that we would be your missionaries this week thank you for this time amen amen well go this week uh encouraged i hope and hopefully able to encourage others Mm -hmm. I want to encourage Mike as he goes and, uh, yeah, if you guys see Mike this week with those four young boys, uh, just encourage him and Tamsin. Uh, happy Father's Day, Mike, and you. you're doing a great job, and I'm glad that you're part of our church. And to you guys out there, uh, especially the fathers this week, I am so thankful for each one of you, and the, the, I see how you're, you're leading your families, and, and that's an encouragement to me. Yeah, me too, so... Have a good week. Have a good week, guys, and happy Father's Day.